Hey everyone, welcome to To Pickleball and Beyond. My name's Ryan. My name's Vino. And today we are looking at the Diadem Warrior V2. So Vino, let's jump straight into things. What were your initial thoughts? Um, I was very excited to get this paddle and try. Yes. Very newly released. Um, it's supposed to be the second version of the Warrior. Yep. This was, I would say, one of the first paddles that I upgraded to. Thicker paddle, really liked it, had that heavier weight. And so um, they have come up with this edgeless. So uh, they actually provided a good tape that we could put yeah, around. It's really neat so with, yes, with yes. That. So without the tape, it's, it's this. Um, molded edgeless yep. with like a paint coat so it's good that they actually did give like a really good tape that you could put around because that was like something i definitely scuff up it's really yes good, like, yes it. and the warrior one of the biggest problems was it was just this painted grip mm -hmm. right yep. so it's really nice to see something with uh, uh with this carbon fiber yes. surface, it is, is, like it is the, a, yes. the surface definitely upgraded yes um sure. overall very interesting paddle edgeless um, nice graphics. Uh, the handle also was pretty good. Yeah, the handle, yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty good. There's better out there, definitely yes, far yes. worse, but the it's grip, definitely a solid yes. hand. Yes, uh, the grip is decent, um, good, not like the greatest of grip, yep. but the handle itself is solid. I really yeah. like how solid the handle is. So let's go ahead and talk about how you felt the paddle was at the kitchen or the non volley zone. Yeah, so when I first grabbed the paddle, it, I was hitting mine a little too high. It had a lot more pop than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. considering for, it's, especially for a 19 yeah, millimeter. Yeah, considering it was 19 millimeters, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, this paddle has quite a bit of pop to it. Uh -huh. But So after I dialed it in a little bit, it, it was weird. It was like I could feel more control coming the more I used it. Which yeah, it was, yeah. You know, it, I've, usually you can use a paddle right away and get a pretty good feel for it. But this, it took like, you know, after like five minutes to finally be like, okay, so that's how do you control it with this paddle. It was very interesting, but once I got a little more like accustomed to the paddle, it was like pretty soft. Uh -huh. So yeah, and I, I think I think very similar. I was expecting this to play just like the Warrior. Yeah, like that soft kind yeah, of. Yeah, I thought feel. it was gonna be very dampening. Yes, but, but it it played very different. Like I would yeah. say, you know, uh, they they say it's the same three layer core like the Warrior, mm -hmm. but for me, just starting to play with it. It just felt like a different paddle. Yeah. It felt like a paddle that we have never played before with. Very, very different, very yeah. different feel to it. Um, so very that, interesting. It was very interesting. Yeah, one more comment I want to make. So I noticed on like the really, really, really soft balls, it, the touch was like super soft. But as soon as like they were kind of a little harder dinks, that's where it would start to, I know it's a little more pop or, you know, it lost a little bit of that control piece, but and, super and I think, interesting. And I think that was what I was pleasantly uh, surprised and pleasantly enjoyed. It, it had that softness of like that multiple yep. cores, but it still had that like carbon fiber yeah. poppy character. Yeah, definitely I mean? had more pop to it yeah. than the previous yeah. Warrior. And, definitely and, had more pop. And, and what I was surprised was when you did the speed ups yep. and you tried to control like speed ups and stuff like yeah. that, you really had a nice feel to it. It, right? was, it, it, it was surprising. Yes. It was weird. It was yeah. just after you got a little used to it though, you could control speed ups pretty well on it. I think where it did shine was it ha it had a lot more pop and power than we were expecting for a 19 millimeter. We were both surprised yes, yes, we were, by yes, that. yes, had lots of power. Yes, and I mean, the thickness. Not, again, we are not talking about the very high end power, yes. right? Not the power, yeah, kind of power. Yeah. But for a 19 millimeter, I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of power that it had compared to the yes. original Warrior. Yes, yes. definitely, 100 percent. Spin. So the spin for me was the most lackluster part. I didn't know what to expect coming into it, but after I hit a few shots with it, there was not a whole lot to speak. I mean, there was some, yeah. but definitely lots of paddle. You expected it. more. I you, expected yes, more, for, yes. you know, considering it's a uh, MSRP is currently two hundred thirty dollars. Yeah. I was expecting a lot more spin from it. Yeah, so. and I think for me, like, if you compare or you expect this to be a next version of the Warrior, I feel you're going to feel disappointed. But if you look at this paddle as a whole different kind of a paddle, I think it has some really interesting features and characteristics. Yep. It's very it, interesting. Yes, it, 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 it has that, that roundedness of the warrior edge, right? Like a balance of everything. It's got that extra power that the warrior didn't have. Mm -hmm. And it did have a little bit of uh, 
control that yeah. the pickup paddles kind of give. Yeah. But this is something. So going straight into adaptability, this is a paddle that's going to take you some time yes. to get used to. Yes. So I think for me, final conclusions would be, um, I think they have priced themselves out of the market. Yep. For a two hundred and thirty dollar paddle, you high. expect yeah. some. If very this was a hundred and fifty dollar paddle, yep. I think this will really catch because so many people are looking for edgeless, yes. good edgeless paddles. Yeah. So I think it meets that mark. But for a high end paddle, I think you know uh, you wanted a little bit more. Yep. Yeah. One other point I would definitely want to touch on is if you're interested in the paddle, it is it does come in at a very heavy weight. This yes. one's eight point two five. So yes. you definitely want to be like looking for a heavier paddle mm -hmm. if it you know if you're looking for a heavier paddle it's definitely one you should check out it's mm -hmm. very different from a lot of options and you you know there's not a lot of paddles that consistently come in a heavier weight so that's definitely one important feature of this paddle that's yeah. definitely worth mentioning no definitely something that you should check out we had fun hitting around with it uh, these are our first impressions um if you want to try it out in minnesota we're more than happy to you know demo the paddle um we are today recording at Pine Island. Very excited to be recording here. Um, Thank you guys for joining. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon.